So there's there's enormous weight and salience in the matter of uh, in the matter of uh, uh, slavery. Uh, uh, we're interested in it, and perhaps even more importantly, our students in, are interested in it. So it's important to find a way to address those uh, to address those uh, concerns. And here again, slavery is an extremely useful way of dealing with it. Uh, first of all, uh, almost everybody who comes to the question of slavery has some ideas about it. it it's not a it's not a subject uh, uh, where uh, by people. Uh, uh, students uh, uh, simply uh, simply think that's uh, academic, it's interesting, but has nothing to do with me. Uh, almost everybody has some kind of notion of slavery, the system of great oppression, uh, and how they should how they should think about it. So there's a natural hook there, and then we of course have some really good uh, histories of slavery and structures to understanding history of slavery. Our job is to translate uh, those interests, uh, uh, those political uh, concerns, uh, those social concerns about oppression and liberation uh, to give them form uh, so our students uh, can have a, a way of, uh, way of dr addressing, uh, addressing their concerns. If history is about argument, what we want to do is we want to prepare our students uh, to join the, uh, join the argument. Uh, Often it's thought that history is about simply about a story. Uh, if, that case, if that's the case, then we only have to learn the story, and then we can all go home, uh, and the story is over. That understanding that history is simply a story uh, leads to the kind of rote memorization of facts, uh, uh, whereas history as argument uh, Means that uh, means that the process is always opened, uh, that slavery is always being remade, always being rethought, and the idea is to put our students in a position where they can sit at the table and argue uh, along with us and argue at us uh, uh, sometimes.